Remember how Howard scanned and printed himself into a figurine? Say hello to my little friend. Well, I already have a printer. I just need a scanner. Let's do it! Hey guys, ZW here and I've been waiting so long to say this. <clears throat> this video is sponsored by Rebel Point. Stay to the end to find out how you can save $20 off your own POP2 scanner. Oh, chills. Actually, I was the one who requested a scanner from them because I knew how much it would help me with my work. As a sculptor struggling with likenesses, it's a no-brainer to get a 3D scanner. Here we have the scanner, a tripod for the scanner, a phone holder, a statue for testing, and a bunch of wires that you will need. For a premium version, you will get a turntable, a power bank, and this carrying bag. That's it, let's not waste any more time. I want to know what this can do. The software that you can download is called Revel Scan. You attach the scanner to a computer, secure it on the tripod, and point it towards the turntable. First of all, we will try scanning the statue that came with the scanner. So there are different modes here. We'll be using a feature mode for objects with easily identifiable, well, features. Position the scanner, turn on the turntable and start scan. Once everything is captured once, pause and flip the object over and the scanner will detect the change in position and continue capturing the rest. After fusing the cloud point and meshing it, this is what I got. Pretty good, yeah? This test scan is not just to let you familiarize the whole process, but also to help you know if your scanner is well calibrated. If you can't even capture the eyelids of this statue, you will have to calibrate it again. But the most important question is, can we scan a human face? Well, I got in touch with my first ever subscriber, and I'm gonna pay him a visit. To his house! On the way there, let me show you around Singapore. There are a lot of statues around the town area. There's a big bird. Dudes talking to one another near the big bird. Thank you! Oh, more dudes talking. A bull statue, naked kids jumping into the river, and oh, tiny bird. The POP2 has a mobile app for you to scan on the go. Similar to the desktop software, you can set the type of scans high or fast scans. The power bank is used to power the scanner which is then connected to the app in your phone. But one thing I realized is that sunlight is also a factor to consider as it will disrupt the scanning process. So if scanning statues outdoor is hard, why not indoors? Welcome to the Asian Civilizations Museum. Straight away, we entered the statues area and scanned the first one that caught my eyes. I wonder why. With the level of details this statue has, Scanning it was a breeze, almost. Relax, it's easy to undo a mistake and continue the scan. And this is what it looks like in ZBrush. I think the scan is pretty good, so let's not keep our subscriber waiting. Really good. Ah, I see you've been watching my videos. Good job, good job. Don't make any more. <laughs> For scanning his face, I'm also using the mobile mode. And the reason he's looking like a grandmother is because black is hard to capture and I don't want his hair to interfere with the scanning. Using the face mode to scan, I just had to go around his head once and this is what I got. Looking at it beside the 3D model that I sculpted of him, I am so pissed. Just a few seconds of moving a scanner around his face and you can achieve such a great likeness. Do you know how long I spent to sculpt this? Oh, why did I even sculpt his face in the first place? All right, all right. This is clickbait. He's my brother. But I didn't lie. He is indeed my first Who ever subscriber. Back in 2020, my brother tied the knot. Back then, I was still learning digital sculpting and holy sh so skinny. I thought it would be a great opportunity to practice sculpting with reference photos that I took myself. So I sculpted and painted them as a wedding gift because it's priceless and free. Obviously, it's not well done. Uh, there are a lot of issues like the likenesses, the neck. I can't sculpt expressions well, so I told my sister-in-law to shut her mouth, no, to close her mouth when smiling because adding teeth is going to make this complicated. But with this scanner, just one scan and the overall shape is captured. 
I still can't get over how much time this is going to save me. Basically, what I did after I scanned, I exported it to another software called Revel Studio to do some processing, remove the overlapping points, remove some isolated points, smooth it, and this is what I got. I think the eyes ran into some issues because of her eyelashes, so I went back to remove some rope points near the eyes so that the mesh will look cleaner. Comparing the scan with my own scalp, I was definitely far off. As you can see, there are a lot of settings you can mess around with to try and get a better scan. I'm sure I haven't figured everything out, so join the forums, join the Facebook groups, and take a look at what the rest are able to achieve before deciding whether this is for you. Most importantly, visit the link below and use my code ZEDA20 when purchasing your own POP2 scanner. More details in the description below. Now we are back and we have saved a lot of time. Look at how accurate the face is, I am just speechless. All we need to do now is to fix the eyelid and dig out the eye socket and we can insert the eyeballs. Good thing I have so many reference photos of his face to help me determine the position of his eyeballs. There we go. So a shortcut for applying realistic skin pores is to use the 3D scan store skin texture maps. But before we can do that, we need to transform the base mesh into our scan using the program wrap and by clicking on multiple points on the two faces the program will know how to turn the base mesh into the shape of the scan and now we have a scan with good topology stealing the hairstyle i made from the previous sculpt and adjusting the shape accordingly i just applied the skin textures and adjusted the intensity it's amazing isn't it now some finishing touches like the eyebrows and it's ready for printing Look at the huge differences, the scan absolutely put my scalp to shame. And here is the head prep for printing. In the printer it goes. So I asked my brother which superhero he wants to transform into and he said Doctor Strange. Because the movie is coming out and this is clickbait number 2. These hands are from DJ Customs and you can attach them to the flight stand which will look absolutely amazing when you pair it with Hot Toys, Doctor Strange. Last but not least, the head Oh, I haven't shown the painting process. My apologies. Everything is pretty standard if you watch my videos because I paint every time. Visit my channel to see more detailed steps. But basically, it's just a bunch of colors layered over one another to give the illusion of skin. Black for hair, brown for eyes, and some UV resin to bring them to life. Now, we are ready. Obviously, the scan is 100% better than my own sculpt. It took less than a day to clean the scan and turn it into a head sculpt, and it looks great. Of course, you need to know how to sculpt the eyes and paint, and you can learn that from my videos. Make sure to also use the code ZEDA20 if you are purchasing your own POP2 scanner. And thank you Revelpoint for sending me this amazing scanner. I look forward to using it for my future projects, and I hope to see you next time.